What's up everyone, it's Sydney on Marie. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel and today I am going to show you how I style my graphic tees. Now I have always been a very big graphic tee wearer. I swear I just watched iCarly once and I saw those penny tees. I'm like, that is my style forever. I just love graphic tees. I think they show so much of your personality. I just love expressing some of my favorite things through my clothes and I think graphic tees are a super cool way to do that. So I just want to show you how I style my graphic tees because I wear skirts with them, pants, tights, just a variety of different articles of clothing and I want to show you how I style my graphic tees by showing you five outfits that I put together with some of my favorite graphic t-shirts. <laughs> So the first outfit I picked out utilizes a Sailor Moon graphic tee from Target. Now this shirt, I really love the yellow background on it, so I thought it'd be really cool to pair with a yellow skirt from Forever 21, and I love this skirt because it gives me Cher from Clueless vibes, which a lot of people know that's one of my favorite movies. I also wore a black turtleneck underneath. I wear black turtlenecks a lot. I believe this one is from Target, the Wild Fable brand. I also wore black tights that are rather opaque underneath. And I wore my Steve Madden Mary Jane shoes for a very preppy look. I really like this look with the plaid Mary Janes and turtleneck. It kind of gives a preppy vibe. And I love the matching yellows. This is one of my favorite graphic tees. And I thought this look was a super kind of preppy girly way to style a graphic tee. Now my next outfit is much more casual girl vibes. It kind of gives me like Rory Gilmore, girl next door, that type of energy. He's a girl. The graphic tee I utilize is also from Target, you know, one of my favorite stores. It features Mickey and all of his friends on it, and it's in navy and slightly cropped. The cool thing about this shirt is the back of the shirt also features, like, the back of Mickey and his friends, which I thought was a super unique element of the shirt, and that's kind of why I bought it in the first place. Now let me see that booty work, booty work, booty work. I paired this shirt with mom jeans from PacSun, which are super comfortable. They're in a lighter wash. And for shoes, I wore navy high top Converse, which I thought matched the navy and the graphic tee, so it really ties together the look. To make it even more 90s girl next door vibe, I paired my light gray champion zip up with this outfit. You can either wear it on or tie it around your waist. I think it really fits the vibe of this outfit. <laughs> So my next outfit features yet another graphic tee from Target. It's becoming an obsession. I love this shirt because it features Britney Spears on it and I thought it'd be cool to kind of create an edgier look with this shirt. So I paired it with a cream-ish pleather skirt from Forever 21, which I love. It's one of my favorite skirts ever because I love how it ties in the front. I think it's really cool. I feel like I've had this since 2017. Like me and the skirt, we're committed to each other. When you're the best of friends. I also paired it with zebra stripe tights underneath from Target, which I thought were super cool. Something about animal print is kind of edgy to me, especially like zebra and leopard, I don't know. And my shoes are maroon booties from Clarks. One of my favorite details about this outfit in particular is that I paired a pearl necklace from Brandy Melville with it. I just love the contrast between kind of an edgier outfit and pearls. Vivian Westwood taught me that and I just thought it looked really cool. I wore a pearl necklace with this shirt in a visco photo and in this visco photo I was wearing a leopard bodysuit underneath which is yet another cool way to style this tee. My next outfit starts out with a slam t-shirt from PacSun featuring Shaquille O'Neal on it. This is shown in my Christmas haul video. My sister got this for me and I've been loving it so far and I'm using it in a fit. And I also paired this with my puffer jacket from Target which is one of my best purchases of the year. I've been living for my puffer jacket. I'm so glad that puffers are kind of having a resurgence. For the bottom of this outfit, I actually paired fishnet black tights underneath my black ripped jeans which are from Target. The tights are from Target as well. And for shoes I'm wearing black booties from H&M which are another staple piece in my wardrobe. I love these shoes. Another one of my best purchases of the year. The next outfit also utilizes a graphic tee from PacSun, but once again, is low-key serving Disney adult vibes. This shirt from PacSun I think is so adorable. It has the 101 Dalmatians on it, and I love them, so I really like this shirt. I had to buy it. With the release of Emma Stone's Corella, I've been like living for the Dalmatian merch that has been like popping up in stores, and I just think they're so cute. One of my dream dogs. So I tried to make this look a little edgier, just like the Britney Spears look, so I paired it with my favorite leather skirt from Windsor, and underneath I'm wearing these really 
really pretty fashion tights that are like kind of fishnetty with flowers on them. I think they look really cool and they are from Target. And once again, I am wearing the Steve Madden Mary Jane shoes, which are honestly quickly becoming my favorite shoe in my closet. The tights with the Steve Madden Mary Janes is kind of giving me the same energy as Olivia Rodrigo's Met Gala look and I'm totally here for it. It was one of my favorite looks that night. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed learning how I style my graphic tees. Comment your favorite outfit down below if you have one and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye!